activists now estimate 30,000 people have died in the fighting in Syria. And for those who manage to escape, the struggles don't stop when they leave their troubled homeland. CCTV's Tony Chang has more from the Kilis refugee camp near the Turkish-Syrian border. Syrian children play in the Kilis refugee camp on the Turkish border. It looks like they're having fun, but these are kids whose lives have been scarred with tragedy. 13-year-old Saleh comes from Aleppo. He's been here for several months with his family, except his two brothers. One is still inside fighting. The other was killed trying to defend a hospital, he says. He, he knew that he will die, but may, he said, if I, if I will not go, more, maybe more than 100 people will die in the hospital. They will kill the people that they got hurt and the, the doctors. Even Saleh found himself on the wanted list for taking part in several anti-government rallies. Me, I, I was wanted also. Be, uh, they came to the, to the school. You were wanted? Yes, because I made a few protests. In, yes, uh, and because my big brothers are wanted. But conditions in the camp are good. The Turkish authorities keep tight control and everything is clean and secure. Supplies are also plentiful here at one of the several stores in the camp. Every refugee is given the equivalent of $50 a month. That's spent using a high-tech credit card and thumb recognition system. Mrs. Ahmamet has been here for 10 months. They're getting by, but it's a struggle. We can find whatever we need, but the prices are high. The refugees are free to come and go during daylight hours. But although more refugees are arriving from Syria every day, none are being accepted here. This camp at Kilis is said to be the best of those along the Syrian border. The cabins are relatively well structured, although small inside, but it's full to capacity with 12 and a half thousand refugees inside. They're not taking any more. The Turkish government has recently said it'll increase the number of refugees it can accept from 100,000 to 120,000. But as the conflict continues, thousands more are arriving every day. Nizar Naga used to be an accountant. He left six months ago with his family of eight when they heard that government forces were advancing on their hometown. Now they all share this tiny container home. It's neat and tidy, but barely able to hold three generations. But he doesn't see any end to the fighting. It will take a long time because the international community is not involved in the Syrian issue and they are doing nothing to support the Syrian people. Outside, a group of children sing a song mocking President al-Assad. Their spirits are high, but no one is expecting to go home soon. Tony Chang, CCTV, at the Kilis refugee camp on the Turkish-Syrian border.